Hey, what's up guys? It's me, your boy, Orban. Carl Stay Cave in Ashpak here with another brand new video. And I hope you guys are having a great day. So in this video, I'm going to share my thoughts and opinion on the Alpine's A523 car launch and uh, what I think about the car and what I think about their livery and what I think about their driver lineup and how I think they're going to perform this season. So there's a lot of things to cover. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video, guys. So I don't really have much to comment on the event. It was relatively similar to what we saw with the McLarens. I think it was a decent launch and uh, I think it was fairly a decent length in terms of the duration of the launch. It was well presented and I did see that uh, the presenter did try to stir up some beef between uh, Esteban Ocon and Pierre Gasly and we know how they both are. So without much rambling about the event itself, let's get to the tasty stuff which is the car. So talking about the A523, quite a complex name. Again, Alpine is going to run two liveries this season. For the first three races, Alpine is going to be running an all pink livery uh, for the BWT contract. And then from there on to the end of the season, Alpine will be running. And from there on to the end of the 2023 season, Alpine will be running a livery that is similar to what we saw last year. And I have to say, the all pink livery is still my favorite. I think it looks great on the renders. It looked great on the car launch and I think it's going to look equally good on the track as well. Considering that two of the three races that Alpine will be running the all pink livery will be a night race. Uh, the pink livery is really going to pop and I am excited to see how the pink livery looks on track. But getting back to the livery that Alpine will be running for pretty much most of the season. I don't know guys, uh, I think I prefer the last year's livery. And again, just like uh, pretty much all the teams that we saw so far, uh, Alpine has also gone with some paint saving, uh, which is weight saving, not really paint saving by reducing the usage of paint and it's basically mostly carbon fiber so it's basically exposed carbon fiber from the end of side pod to the end of the engine cover and uh, i don't know how i really feel about it and i really do hope that fia does step in before teams go all in to this new method of weight saving so putting the exposed carbon fiber weight saving thing aside sometimes i do wish that uh, renault did not change their name I was a huge fan of the Renault's livery from 2019 to 2020. It looked great. The black and the yellow was just the right combination and on track the car really did pop. And I don't know why Renault decided to change their name. I don't know what is the business strategy behind it. The blue, don't get me wrong, the blue looks good. But the problem is with the BWT's uh, pink. The blue and pink just does not blend in well. and. Uh, I think I will get used to it as the time goes on, but uh, yeah, it's definitely not my favorite livery on uh, the grid. And I'm also not a huge fan of the Alpine uh, that has been written on top of the chassis. I prefer the last year's French flag that runs from the nose to the halo. That was a nice touch uh, to the origin of the team and uh, it was a very subtle detail. Only the people who really pay attention to it will really notice it. And uh, I think that was much better than what they have done this year with the Alpine branding on top of the chassis. So talking about the car's bodywork itself, the design philosophy is the same as to what Alpine ran at the end of last year. They stuck with it, but there is a subtle evolution and tweaks here and there. And I think it's great because towards the end of last year, Alpine was uh, pretty much on top of the midfield. And if it wasn't for the reliability issues for the team, Alpine would have been well clear of McLaren last year for P4. I think the design is great. They have made a subtle tweak to the rear fin on top of the engine cover, a subtle tweak uh, to the front nose. But other than that, the design of the car looks pretty much similar to what they ran last year. So yes, in terms of livery, not really happy. But uh, in terms of the styling of the car, the body works looks very good. So in terms of the car's overall shape, I'm really pleased with the A523. So moving on to the team's new driver lineup. And I think that is the most exciting part of the season for Alpine. An all French driver lineup with Esteban Ocon and Pierre Gasly. I expect Pierre Gasly to be just on pace with Esteban Ocon. Uh, he was great in 2021. And I think if the last year's Alf Tori was anything similar to what we saw in 2021, I think Gasly would have been just as good as he was in 2021. If he outscores Esteban Ocon, I think that would be a great statement that he makes for the fans and for the entire grid. 
but if he doesn't it's not really a huge problem because it is his first year with the team it is his first year with the team so it will take him at least a year to get used to the alpine's design philosophy so if he doesn't outscore esteban ocon it's not really a huge deal but i do expect pierre gasly to be just close enough to esteban ocon in terms of one lap and long run race pace and with this new driver lineup things could get very very toxic if if pierre gasly is better than uh, esteban ocon it's just plain and simple if they are level pegging or if pierre gasly has a slight upper hand over esteban ocon i do expect things to get really toxic within the alpine f1 team and alpine says that with this year's car they are at least aiming at a couple of podium finishes this season so they are pretty confident about the design evolution and they expect the car to be better than what the car was at the end of last year so yeah i have to say that there is a lot of things that i can look forward to in the 2023 season the midfield seems to be the most interesting part of the 2023 season there's a lot of things a lot of inter-team rivalry that i'm looking into so yeah it's all going to be box office this season so i hope you guys are just as excited as i am so yeah that is my take and opinion on the alpine's a523 car their livery and on their new driver lineup let me know in the comments on what is your take and perspective on alpine's new f1 car the new driver lineup and how do you think they're going to perform this season i expect alpine to do good and uh, my only prayer and hope is that the car is more reliable than what they had last year so with that being said i would like to wrap up this video guys i hope you all enjoyed if you did make sure that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to the autobahn cast youtube channel if you haven't already and join the ac squad also hit that bell icon and turn on all notifications so you get notified whenever i upload a brand new video it's me your boy autobahn cast aka vinish and i'm out love you guys stay safe peace